Roll them up. Hey everybody, I'm Bob. I'm Charlie. And welcome to Bourbon and Balls. Yes. Uh, so this week, uh, just a few news here in the bourbon world. All right. Uh, and then we'll go into our um, uh, NFL picks and whatnot. Um, so we had a tasting last week. Mm-hmm. Just this past Saturday. Yeah, we had a big one. Mm-hmm. Um, I Six, think, 16 people. Yep. And we went through 12 bottles. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, probably do the ticker at the bottom to kind okay. of show everything that we went through. But just kind of give everybody a heads up as far as how that kind of worked. Um, we did uh, three rounds of four different bottles. Mm-hmm. And the way we did it, which I kind of suggest those at home who want to maybe do the bourbon tasting, mm-hmm. is you start off with a slow, you rank them all in proof. That's how we do it. Mm-hmm. That's how we put the 12 bottles in order. Um, and then you do it lowest to highest. So every four is kind of what we did. So first four, second four, uh, and the third group. And then we take the four highest scores out of those three groups. But individually. Individually, yes. Right, right. For each person individually. So in, yeah. the, in theory, you know, one person could have um, two or three bottles come out of the same group, depending mm-hmm. on their score. Right. Um, so anyway, that creates then your for your personal blind, mm-hmm. and then at the end of the night, then uh, you you'll to, know you'll know what you you get to you taste get. your top the top four, yeah, and not know where which ones are which. Yep. So mm-hmm. we did that. Um, so I'm gonna go over some of the bottles, or actually, um, as far as kind of how they finished uh, as a uh, collective group. Right, and this is um, a side note. You know, it, it's uh, a lot of people had different final fours. You correct. Know, and there's quite a correct. variety of, of, of finishes, and I can even talk. And Charlie and I can talk about our own. Yeah, what finished for us exactly. comparatively to the group. So uh, we had 12 bottles, like I said. Uh, in 12th place uh, was a bottle uh, called Redemption. Um, I've never heard about it. I may put a little blurb at the bottom. Yeah. Um, I had I had heard some things, good things about their rye at one point, okay. like a fairly priced rye, but I've, okay. I've never had the regular redemption. Okay. Um, All right. So, I mean, I don't think that, and I think, honestly, I think it was at like an 88 proof. Mm-hmm. And I think for the people who generally come to these tastings, um, kind of pick that out pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. And they kind of put that off to the side. Yeah. I think that's probably yeah. what happened there. Yeah. Well, I, I spoke up because I couldn't, I, very rarely is there a bourbon that I can't, I couldn't pick up a nose on it like i could yes it, it hardly had any kind of maybe someone else said that too well scott echoed behind me yeah he yeah. said the same thing he's like yeah he was having trouble picking any notes off of it and it was just yeah. it was just super almost light and watered down it yeah, was a very bit. young bourbon i suppose yeah. mm-hmm. so uh then after that uh rebel cast strength that's actually a fairly known bourbon mm-hmm. um and it's cast strength mind you i don't know if the cast strength turned off some people or whatnot but uh, it did not do well. Um, it didn't do well at all. But that is a um, um, oh the blood oath, blood oath people. Oh my heaven! No, um, man, you, you're asking me. That's, that's we shocking. went to the we we did the we did the tour. Lux Row. Lux Row. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yes, so, I should know that. I should know that. Yeah. So the people who uh, who brought you cast strength Lux Row, uh, they did blood oath and everything else. But in this particular one, uh, for whatever reason, it did not do well. Except for me, oh. and I and it was up there for me. Yeah, okay. so for me, it was up in my top four. So okay, I All liked right. it. All right, uh, RD one um, that was also brought uh, into our tasting. It was the regular RD one. I know there's some variations. Um, there's actually one that I'd like to try for a bottle review down the road. It's a honey barrel. Okay, uh, which I've never tried a honey barrel before, so I'll be excited to do that down the road. Very good. Um, after that, uh, Russ the Russell ten. Okay, which I'm surprised that it what. I'm smiling. I know, but what are you doing? <laughs> I can smile. I know, but you're doing something weird. <laughs> I'm a little excited. For like number and one? I, and I just can't hide it. I'm about says, to lose control. control. Yeah, ah, I got you. You don't have to give me too many words. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, Russell's 10. Can I interrupt uh, you? Huh? Can I interrupt you? Yeah. Good. Hang on. This is why, this is why I'm smiling. So you're not thinking I'm up to anything. Oh, that's not going to work for me. Anyway, that's supposed to be a child. There we go. Child sharing. We won our parlay of the week again. Oh, we did? Yes. Ah. <laughs> so I've been, we've been down here goofing off, getting ready. I've been dying to tell you, but I've been holding oh, it yeah, in. So yeah, that's yeah. why I started smiling. I'm like, okay, I was proud of myself. You I know was what keeping we should do it in. from now on? I know we're in the middle of this list, <laughs> but we should now stop. If you do that, you win like that again. <laughs> but at the, be- at the beginning, beginning of the yeah, show, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 I was just, oh I'm just, I'm just excited. All right, I'm going to zip through this. I'm just <laughs> No, we'll get, we'll get through it. Um, so, um, <laughs> Okay, so Russell Ten didn't do well. Um, I'm not. A lot of people are not a wild turkey fan. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I think th- I've heard you say that about that Russells as well, because you like the the um, initially you like the um, one wild 
yeah, the Wild Turkey, Turkey 101. 101. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And then I've kind of gone off of that. Um, and after that, uh, a bourbon called Southern Star. Never heard of it. Mm-hmm. So uh, that might be one that I might put up real quick and flash it on the screen uh, to kind of tell folks what that's all about. Okay. Have n- have no clue what it, what it is. Okay. Um, and now we're gonna get to some familiar, I think, bottles that everybody at home uh, knows um, that uh, finished in the top uh, six. Okay. Uh, and that is the Russell Single Barrel. Not to get that confused with the Russell uh, Ten. Okay. Although similar, but this this particular single barrel, as we all know, uh, single barrels are within its name. Right. Uh, can have different profiles from time to time depending on what bottle you get, but this particular one. Uh, did did okay. Um, uh, tied at six with uh, Penelope Architect. Okay. And that's the blue one. All right. So and then uh, you one steer day, me staring off. I'm looking oh, yeah. at his collection of, of Penelope's over and there. And then one day we're gonna do a uh, probably a blind off or how you wanna call mm-hmm. it um, of all the Penelope's that we have, including the Rio and the Valencia mm-hmm. uh, toasted uh, barrel strength and the Architect. So one day we'll do that. Um, so after that is tie for six, the Barstown Origin Series. Okay. Um, that did better than average. Um, I'm actually kind of happy to see them do well. Yeah. Uh, in a blind, uh, because for all these years they did, they've done their own discovery sc- mm-hmm. series where they take other bourbons, mm-hmm. but this um, um, their own Origin Series is actually their own bourbon. And you and you liked that. I right? liked it. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I, I brought it. So, oh, yeah. okay. Well, yeah, then. Okay, then. <laughs> but honestly, it didn't. It didn't finish in my top four, to be honest. It, okay, it, but it's it, a weeded, right? Yeah, and it did. And it, well, I don't. Oh, I'm trying to remember. It might have been. We might have joked about that, or I might be getting that mixed up with another one. But um, but it it did well for the round. I do remember that. Like a lot okay. of people liked it in that round, but I don't think it went. It necessarily went on to everybody's top four. If I'm right, but mistaken. I will say this: it didn't finish low. For no, anybody. it didn't finish low. Uh-uh, right. No. Right. Um. After that uh, was the original makers. Um, that's a classic bourbon, um, you know, and, the, and you could make the argument that it did probably well, uh, just because it's familiarity with a lot of people that were at the tasting. Yeah. I'm just guessing. Yeah. But I mean, it does taste. And good. for me, I, I don't, I, I really don't look to see what, what everybody brings just, just so I don't, I don't have any preconceived notions of okay, anything, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I just picked it because I liked it and it, yeah, it, it finished sort. up there for me. Yeah. Um, and then the next one, um, uh, buddy Scott brought it, never heard of it. Peg leg, uh, porker. Um, <laughs> nice name. <laughs> do, do you know, this, do you hear the story behind it? No. Uh, uh, I'm not kidding. Okay. The, uh, you're able, you're able to tell that on here. Okay, yeah. So okay. I'll clarify it at the bottom because I might, I might be paraphrasing or getting something mixed up. Okay. But honest to goodness, uh, the dude that is a distiller or maybe the founder, mm-hmm. Um, he lost his leg. He's an amputee. Oh, okay. And, and I don't know, I guess he took advantage of his disability <laughs> and decided to call <laughs> nice. a bourbon after it, peg leg porker. <laughs> but it happens to be a pretty good bourbon. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so it I looks mean, like it finished up there. Yeah. Yeah. So win, win. So, um, <laughs> it actually finished third in our 12 bottle blind. So yeah, he must be doing something right. right. So, that's right. um, and I think it's from North Carolina. So we'll put that up there. Okay. Um, and maybe that's something you can get online, uh, shipped to you. I know there's some. Outlets online, you can get uh, some. And there was other another one that in a, a preview tasting came in South Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the big, big Six, six. Ooh, and that that, that did really well. Um, yes. So I made me think of that. So I mean, that, that nose on the Big Six was incredible. That finished like 86 for me, I mm. think. Okay. Yeah, and that was after tasting a couple times. So that, that was, was great. That was really good stuff. Yeah. Very good. Um, second was a familiar favorite, but not a familiar uh, bourbon. Uh, it was from um, New Riff. Uh, it's their Silver Grove, mm-hmm. um, and that's a I think that's a limited run, a limited series that they had. Um, very gracious of whoever brought it, mm-hmm. because for them to put it in a blind, more power to you, man. <laughs> um, I mean, I personally would not have put it in a blind, uh, just because it's it's a it's a sought out bourbon. Okay. Um, I've never seen it on the shelf. I guess you could say it's allocated, um, but nevertheless. Um, you know, we're very thankful that he brought it. Yeah. No and then bad. the number one bourbon, uh, very, very odd that you see here, uh, here in front of us is the Magnolia uh, bourbon. It is out of Ohio. Did it say we're at Columbus? No, I did not. I did not see a reference Cincinnati here on the back. So I'm sure you oh, can put up a okay. little bur- yeah, blurb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> so it celebrates Samuel N. Pike's heritage in Cincinnati and his success <coughs> as a. Here, hold on a second. Uh huh. Let's do that again. 
I don't want to get my clock in there. What do I do again? Put it back in there. Okay. And I'll say the number one bottle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And the number one bourbon uh, is Magnolia. Um, I I don't know if it's at Columbus or, or out of Columbus, but it's an Ohio bourbon. Yeah, it mentions somebody Samuel N. Pike out of uh, Cincinnati and his heritage. Oh, okay. um, Who? Samuel N. Pike. Okay. So um, yeah, there's a long story here. I don't know that we you, maybe you can put it up there in print, but something about an opera house in 1859 and. Oh wow. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, Yes, I'm sure there's an interesting story behind that. Yeah, so that was our, believe it or not, and it's cool when we have these 12-bottle blinds mm-hmm. that something like a Magnolia comes out on top um, for a few reasons. One, I, I love uh, not, uh, bourbons you're not, you're not used to mm-hmm. um, that, that come out and, and show very well and, and show well. And another thing is the fact that um, I don't know if uh, we would have known this bourbon had we had not. Uh, had this tasting. No, I was gonna say, had you had you heard of it before? No. Okay. And the thing is, if I had saw it on the shelf, I wouldn't have grabbed it. Okay. Uh, I'm just being honest. It's just no, you go no. with what you know, right? And the reason it's up there is because we need to have some. Right. So now I'm curious, what were your top four? Do you recall? Um, I believe it was similar to the overall. Um, okay. Uh, Magnolia, Silver Grove, Peg Leg, and then um, I'd like to say. Uh, probably, I, I believe if I remember correctly, uh, might have been either the Barstown. I want to say it's either the Barstown or the Makers. I can't, okay. I can't remember which. What about you? We're up there. For me, and uh, fortunately, I, re- I remember to take a picture of my of my final four. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I, I, was, I can't believe I didn't bring the rest of the sheets with me. But uh, for me, the top one was the Makers mark. I scored it an 84-5 in the final round. Nice. And then I scored the Silver Grove, which I don't think did well, right? No, so, that was second. That was second. Okay. So oh, that's the new riff one. Yeah. Okay. And not knowing it was a new hey, riff what's run. That song? What's that? Silver Grove. Try to grow. Yeah, not silver. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I scored that in an 80. Who sings that? <laughs> Doobie Brothers. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the Southern Star, that was the one that didn't do so well, right? I'm sorry. I'm trying to tie all these things into a song. <laughs> and there is a bad company song uh-huh. southern star shooting star yeah okay i'm gonna play this game all night <laughs> <laughs> I, I see that so anyway as i was saying uh the southern star did not do well correct uh Overall, no sir no but sir. it was up there for me it was 73 and a half for me okay and then the uh rebel calf strength was also did not do well for the rebel group, yeah. was up there for, for me yeah Billy Idol. Very good. Very good. All right. So, <laughs> so that was my uh, that okay. was my top four, and there was definitely some variance um, from the from the rest of the crowd. So makers, makers. <laughs> I don't know a song with makers. Anymore. All right, all right. Well, here we go. Oh, yeah. Cheers, anyway. So cheers, very good. And thanks to everybody who came out yes. and Charlie and his wife for hosting. It was a great time. Yeah, it was a very good time, and uh, you know, cheers to Magnolia. But that was just good. It is. It's just like I remembered it. Yeah, I'd be curious to. This is um, man, that finish is good too. Mm-hmm. This is like almost a perfect proof. Uh, what is it, by the way? I'd guess around oh. 105. No, <laughs> wrong. All right, maybe it's not the perfect proof. No, what is it? I'm telling you, it drinks smooth. Hundred and is that a nine? Hundred twenty nine. Really? Are you sure? <clears throat> Your eyes aren't always good. That's a one twenty something. It's either a twenty five or a twenty nine. Either way, it yeah. does not drink like a one twenty five. Yeah, sixty two by. Is that oh, one twenty five. Yeah, one twenty five. Then okay. So that is a very smooth. No, it is. I, I was I was guessing around one oh five. If I had yeah, to guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So was mm-hmm. I. Yeah. Because I was about to say that's a big, that's the best entry <laughs> proof for, for anybody. But no, no, no. You don't no. come in at one twenty five. No. Um, it'll hug man. you. It'll, it'll give you a hug. It's good, but it'll give it you is. A hug. But it's not like an over hug. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? An over hug. Like it's a term you know, we'll start using. Like an over hug, where you know yeah, you have. Sometimes you want a hug, but you don't want a big bear hug. Yeah, it's not like it's not. <laughs> it's not like a relative that comes over during uh, Thanksgiving and you just don't want to hug from. Them. That's not the kind of bird. But then there was Huggy Bear. Remember Huggy Bear? Care Bears. No, Huggy Bear. No. No, oh, Big Shoes. Was he his Walked own character? the streets. Huh? Starsky and Hutch. No, no Starsky and Hutch. No, I don't know. Oh, okay, all right. Never seen it. No. They had a I car, think, right? 
Oh, yeah. Torino. Grand Torino. Yeah. Caramel vanilla. Classic. Just saying. And the, uh, and right. the um, proof is so very good. good. Very good. So, yeah. So, surprise. Did you say brought that? Do you recall? I didn't say. Okay. Are you okay to say? Oh, I can if I remember. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> well, whoever brought it, thanks for leaving it behind. Man, I'm sorry. So we can it. <laughs> um, it's, I should have wrote it down. That's a lot of people. We had 16 people. Yeah, we had there. 16 yeah. people there. Um, yeah. And and I and I think I think everybody enjoyed their time. Um, yeah, it was and, a great time. Yeah, it was a great time. And uh, I think our next one is going to be uh, the February. February 3rd, which is always going to be. We always have it the Saturday before the. NFL playoffs and the between Super Bowl. The, it's a dead the, Saturday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we work our, so I go off of that every three months. That's mm-hmm. kind of how we do it. So yep. um, anyways, so that was our results from the uh, yeah. blind. And we're going to move on next to a quick quick uh, bottle review, correct? Yes. Uh, this is going to be Bob's Bottle of the Week. Bob's Bottle of the Week. We just came up with that. Uh, I don't... He just came up with that. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> I told Bob, I said, pick a bottle you want to review and that he, we haven't reviewed. He insisted that I pick, pick a bottle to review, so... And one that I've not had before. <clears throat> oh, you haven't had this? No, I have not. Mm-mm. Okay, wonderful. I've had the 80, what's the 80? 86. I've had the 86, and, and I've had, had the, the 115, which was 1920. I've had the Statesman. What's the Statesman? Oh, good God. I don't yeah. know what it is. Don't matter. So that's part of the reason I picked this, too, is because of the fact that I've, I've not had it before. Well, so. I wonder what's left. Huh? I wonder what's left after this. Oh, as far as the other ones we haven't had? Yeah. I, Man, I would not know. I want to do uh, 1924 when it comes out. Okay. It almost sounds like a Yellowstone series, but anyways. <laughs> um, all right, yeah. I'm gonna so we're going to score it and all that good stuff? Yeah, let's do it. Let's roll it. All right. We're just gonna, not going to pause the cameras. We're just going to keep going? Oh, we're going to pause it all right. All right. Yeah. So, all right. You really like that, huh? Yes? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It doesn't drink like 125. I swear it doesn't. No, I don't think it does either. I'm not as fond of it, though. You know what I do? Play a game. Guess that proof. <laughs> but here, come that's <laughs> okay. And we got to be with, within like I don't know. It's the closest, like without going over or something like that. Be like Price is Right. Guess that proof. You got a little ambitious there. Mm. Just say it. No, it's not a bad idea. Have a whole group over. <clears throat> Guess that proof, and we can. Yeah. Oh. You need a cheat sheet. Well, I can just write on the back. You of sure? This. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Two. There's no more back. Times five. Times three. Yeah, I don't. I I don't think that did that well for me. It. To me, the finish has a little. You're talking about magnolia. Magnolia. It's just a little too acidic. Might be the word I would describe. You know, there's not a song with magnolia in it. What? I'm just saying. No. How could you put that in a lyrical <laughs> way to do it? I don't know. Have you have you get some mushrooms before we came? No, here? I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. I think everything can be tied into it. What is it? What is it? this old forester? I mean, I can't do that either. Oh, old forester, look at my life. I'm a lot like you. No, <laughs> no, no, too no. much. That's too much. Yeah, that's too much of a stretch. It's, what syllables? <laughs> you know, the nickname for this is old foe. You know, you want to be real cool, go to the bar, just so you know. Mm-hmm. And when you order and mm-hmm. you, you want something neat, which mm-hmm. that in itself is pretty cool. Because mm-hmm. it tells the bartender that, hey, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. Old foe. Yeah, seriously. Okay. Say, hey, I want to old foe. they said old foe. Like old, no, old do old foe. F-O. F-O. Who taught you that? I saw on TV one time. <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> order an old foe, and they'd be like, you know, they're like, this guy, he's like that guy from... Uh, What's that uh, commercial with the beard? The dude with the beard. You'll be like that guy. Dude with the like beard. Like when I when I when I'm by myself, I you know whatever. When I when I drink, what if the Dosa Keys guy? Yes, <laughs> Dosa Keys. <laughs> that Dosa Keys. I get Dosa Keys. So Dosa Keys. Anyways, that dude. Yeah, you'll be that dude in Bourbon World. You'll be like well, I want you want an ofo. So when you were at Mike's place, is that did you order an ofo? No, because I wanted a birthday bourbon. I want to say I want an OFO birthday bourbon. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you could have, though. I know, but I'd be like, what? No, speak English. She might have impressed him. <laughs> or not give it to me. <laughs> so, but no, do, do an OFO and 
And then they'll come back at you. And it's like, how do you want it? He's like, I want it neat. And that'd be the perfect way to have a conversation. See what? Do that to your bartender. See what happens next time. All right. And they'd be like, damn, that dude knows what he's doing. All right. He, he is. He is. Yeah. All right. I, okay, Good for let's, you. Let's, <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. <clears throat> okay. All right. So this is the Old Forester. It's the 100. Mm-hmm. One hundo. I wonder why they don't call this, well, for good reason, but I wonder if they have a bottle and bond. Because 100 proof is bottle is and bond. bottle and bond, yep. Mm-hmm. But they don't count this as a bottle and bond. But nevertheless, Old Forester 100, we are going to score it real quick for you guys. Then we'll get on to the NFL picks because okay. I know Bob wants to talk about his party. Yeah, and I, and I, and I think I've, I'm finally. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, it wasn't because of the nose. Nose is freaking fantastic. <laughs> okay. I got allergies. Um. God. I think I'm finally picking up on Old Forester in general, the nose. Really? Because, and yeah, what this flavor is the first would that time. be? It's like there's a creaminess about it. Banana? I don't get the banana as much, but it's like a fruity creaminess. I get, there's a lightness oh, to it. Oh, real quick. I'm sorry not to get sidetracked. <laughs> no. No, go ahead. Um, <laughs> what did we do last week? Bookers. Yeah, uh-huh. the, so the, the, mighty, the, the the mighty, mighty batch. fine batch against three <clears throat> others. Yeah, and then the mighty fine batch. I said it tastes like freaking marshmallows, mm-hmm. and it dipped into the bourbon. Mm-hmm. So a different bourbon channel. They did the same exact thing, and they said it was marshmallow. Well, sweet potatoes, marshmallows. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like we're not that stupid. No, and I said it was corn casserole, and they said there was a lot of baking spice to it. Yeah, so, so I, I mean, think we we're both on it. We could, yeah, we're not far off. We're not that. No. We're not that dumb. No. So anyhow, no, no, I never said we were. Oh, I did. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So you've just been a phony all this time. Not yeah. Not just realizing you're actually picking up stuff. We're just drinking tea. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, that's great. This is as. Oh, I have about to do a song again. Sorry, man. I got the song thing in my head. Mm-hmm, you do. I was going to be smooth as Tennessee whiskey, but it's not. Okay. This is Kentucky. We need to go down there one time. Whiskey Row. Go to Old Forester. That's on the Louisville side? Oh, that's, there's that? Yeah, Whiskey Row. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. This nose is absolutely... Yeah. And I think you're right. The more Old Foresters you do, you're going to be able to pick out a Pick it up, yeah. I was hoping to get to that point at some time. You know, I'm going to do to you one time is... Um, <laughs> Baby, <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> Grease. Grease, what? A song. What, what's happening? What Dude, I am relating everything now to, to songs. Okay, right okay. Now. Tell me more, tell me more. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are we talking about? I don't know. You were going to say something about... Oh, you were yes. Gonna... So we could do like a... Um, Old Forester and Buffalo Trace products and mix and match them. Okay. And I'll have you see pick if you can out pick out which one is which. Yes. Okay. I bet you could do that. Now they're getting used to Old Forester. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. I think I might be getting to that point finally. Part of it is just doing it enough. It's like anything else. You do it enough, and it starts storing in your memory bank, and it's like, oh, okay. That's part of the problem for me sometimes. Is I don't make the mental notes and even the physical notes sometimes, so then it's slower for me to put them together. But so I'm ready to do my math. I don't even need to do the math. This thing goes. Right down the, right down the okay, line. Okay, well, I got to do my math, so we'll okay, be right, yeah, we'll right, right back. Yep, 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 yep. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Man, I'm like a savant when it comes to math. All right, okay. Or what's the opposite of savant? I, I don't know. I, don't, I do, but I'm not going to say it. It's probably politically incorrect. <laughs> Probably so. All right. Uh, what you got? For me, it was just an 8.5 across the board, so it was an 85. Okay. Well, <laughs> I got an 8.5 on the nose. Okay. Uh, 8 on the taste. All right. And then 7.5 on the finish. It was a little um, – maybe it's because of the proof. Um, but it, it was good. It's mm-hmm. just uh, – it was a, a medium – Finish. Gotcha. So what would that bring your total total score to? Oh, I'm sorry. 79.5. 79. So right. we can round up to an 80-ish. Yep. There you so go. So anyway, so that's the uh, quick review of the old foe. 100. Mm-hmm. That's easy to find, right? Oh, very easy to yeah. find. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So and, we were, that, and just one, other, one more thing. We were talking what? about stepping up, like, from the 80-something. Yeah, from the, from the 86 to that. To that before be you went to the Prohibition. So yes. that was another reason I, I that came to mind to, okay. to pick out for this week. So just to keep in mind, like I said, if you like, if you like the – 
if you like the lower proof. Old, this is a great course, pathway so. to uh, yeah. uh, 1920. Yep. So I decided to mention that before. Is there a year on this? No, it's just the OFO. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm doing from now on. <laughs> okay. OFO. At least everybody will know what you're talking about yeah, now. Yeah, the OFO 100. All right. All right. All Very right. good. So uh, we'll go on to the uh, football picks uh, right after this, right? All right? Sounds good. All right. See you shortly. Yep. OFO. I want to say MOFO. That's a... I'll take the MOFO 100. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> It is. No wonder they're they are who they are. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Of course, they have perfected it for over a hundred years. Exactly. Well, 1890, whatever, prohibition before prohibition. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, prohibition was like 1920. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, let's see my picks. Man, I'm burning up in this thing. I bet you are, man. I know. <clears throat> oh my gosh this is so uh, fitting I just got an instant message from a friend of mine and um, uh, I steered I, I questioned if she had, if she had watched the uh, beginner's bourbon and uh, she did she purchased an old Forster because of, because of it so what are the odds of that <laughs> oh, you want to sit down on the way back Huh? Back in, not by name. You don't have to do by name, but no, no. I mean, we could just put put it in as is. I mean, you know, or edit it in or whatever. But yeah, like uh, literally at seven fifty three as we're doing the episode. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say. She didn't specify. Okay. So I'm guessing she probably got the the entry one if she's Maybe talking six. about the beginning. Okay, yeah, good. the beginning. Uh, what she think? Beginner's of it? episode. She saved? She's saving it. Yeah, because. Uh, okay. She said she was going to save it for December. Okay. So I'll be curious to see what she thinks. All right. Well, so I'm ready to I go just, back. I just, I just love the timing of that. I thought that was great. Awesome. All right. So are we ready? Yes, sir. We are back. Yes, we are back. Um, Time for some sports I'm, talk? Well, I'm going to – okay, normally we go through, like, miscellaneous sports. And right. College and then football. Mm-hmm. However, we're going to do things a little bit different tonight because I know Bob – is very excited. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So, Bob. I'm very excited. Yes, take it away. Yes, we've won our second parlay of the week. <laughs> Um, thanks to, uh, Jason and Keith and Steve. Um, and, uh, it was great. The Colts, uh, won over the Pats, covered over the Pats. The 49ers crushed the Jags. I thought that was going to be much more of a game than it was. I think no the kidding. Jags scored like three points or six points yeah, or something like that. It was bad. Well, that was, uh, the Chase Young game. Oh. I mean, they were, they were on book it. <laughs> yeah. So they're like, what yeah. the hell? So anyways. Yes. And everybody was back from injury yeah. from the bye. So Even yeah. 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 Oh. Was, yeah. Okay. yeah, exactly. Did so, the line move because of that, you wonder? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm sure it probably did, but I yeah. don't know. I didn't. Okay. It's not one I kept an eye on. So anyway, but yeah, and then the Lions um, over over the Chargers. So that uh, was an exciting yes, game. Yes, it did was. You watch that? Yes, it was. Uh huh. That was um, great coaching. Uh huh. Actually, I didn't watch it. <clears throat> I was like, and I was dying because I couldn't. How did you watch it? Um, NFL Red Zone. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it was killing me because I'm like. That Dallas game was horrible. Oh god, it was. Yeah, it's... and and then I'm like, and I'm just doing like the the thing online yeah. where you can just watch who scored and what the yeah. play and this kind of thing was, and it was like, because they went up early, yeah, and then boy, it was a they, back they board, back board, back, back, back and then they then this exchanging scores, exchanging correct. scores, and then yeah. At the end, uh, and this was ballsy. It was third and something, and they were in, um, no, was it fourth? No, it was third. And it was like maybe a minute or so left. And the statistical thing to do is to kick the, run the ball again, kick the field goal, make them use their timeout. We've seen the story before. Uh-huh. And kick it to them, and defense hopefully holds them or um, no more than allow them to kick the field goal. What does he do? No, no. He does a pass play. <laughs> Was that right? <laughs> and that sealed the game. And they oh, caught nice. it, and they gave him a new fresh downs, and they ran all the they ran the clock all the way down to the, the last few seconds, kick nice. the field goal and one. So he didn't even want – the ball in their hands at all nice. and uh for him to uh do a pass play Ballsy. When they, that yeah. was and yeah good great great for uh, awesome. dan campbell i like him yeah I, I, um, he is very likable yeah yeah he cries like almost every <laughs> almost every interview but whatever um no yeah. and there was line movement on that game because i think i had mentioned it saturday night when i was here okay and um 
And if if you took if you took that game early, it was a point and a half. Okay. Well, then it moved to three. The Lions were given three. Uh, and oh, Lord, you would have lost. Yeah, you would have pushed on that game. Yeah. And and for me, when I actually bet it, it had just moved, and I'm like, no, I'm betting the money line. Uh, just Instead of game. that, because I didn't like three. Okay. And that's another thing just for you to think about if those any of you that are new to gambling. Okay. If you're lying, if you're giving up a point and a half, okay. But if you get if you're giving three, yeah. that's a whole other thing. And that saved my my actual okay. betting parlay, even Good. though we're doing this just for entertainment purposes. Right, right. Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um but my ten bucks one fifty. So you know, okay. hey wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Um sixty in the pocket. Right. So we did another <laughs> parlay. We're two out of three. Two out of three. If you and I would have been in that one, we'd be three in a row. Ugh. But we're getting better, folks. Yes, yes, we are getting better. We are getting um, better. Who's not getting better is the Buffalo Beals. Uh, did oh. you watch that last time? <laughs> oh, yes, you did. Yeah. How that game ended? Oh, my God. Yeah. How can you have 12 men on the field uh, for an extra four? Yeah. Field goal. And I wondered why they were rushing so much to get the field goal. And they had they had plenty of time. They didn't have to go that fast. But that that was probably why. Yeah. They, and then they, some odd reason. I didn't watch the whole game. But uh, some odd reason the uh, OC got fired today. Offensive yeah. coordinator uh, for the Beals, um, and they got a rough they got a rough schedule ahead too. So that's going to be tough. Mm, yeah, they're yeah. done. I think they're done. They're not yeah. going to make the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, There's just not. And who else is not going to make the playoffs if we don't watch it? Are the Bengals? Yeah, that was. Uh, so we play this Thursday at the time that you guys are watching this. Hopefully on Thursday. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Baltimore at Baltimore. I'm gonna tell you right now, if they don't win, and it's gonna be hard for them to win, but if they don't win, I think they're done. Yeah, and I think Baltimore's they, favored by at least three or three and a half. Th- yeah. Um, um. And what are we five and four right now? Yes, we are. That's correct. We're one so, over five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Go five and five. There, no. And I don't know. and that's three division. But you losses. are such you're such a negative Nelly. I'm a realist. No, you're not. You're a negative Nelly. I'm a realist because I have to correct you. Oh, and I'm, I'm skipping around a little bit. You're talking about fantasy last week, and well, your team is your team. Dude, there are five more weeks in the regular season. And do you know why your team is your team? Because they suck. No. Because you know how many, how many acquisitions have you made? Hardly any. Duh. That's why well, there's nobody sucks. out there that I like. There's plenty, man. It's a 10-team league. It's not like it's a 12-team league or something. I'm waiting for someone to get injured. <laughs> We're both the same amount out of playoff contention with five games to go. And, I, and, I'm, and I'll... I'll bet you the rest of the five games if you want to, just me and you. No, you're going to win. you got a better team. I know that. I'll bet that. You want to take my team? I'll take your team. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you made some – I might be able to make a better team out of yours. If I, you picked up somebody like eight or nine days ago, and then you hadn't picked anybody up in two months. So my point with bringing this up isn't just to like give Charlie a hard time, but for all you folks out there – you're listening. You got plenty of time left if your team is struggling. No, you don't. Stay on the waiver line. Stay on the. Wa- I'm going to show you how no, it's you done. Don't. Yeah, you're, I'm going to be the cocky gonna... one this time. I'll show Season, you how it's done. Season's over, folks. You're going to watch. You're going to watch my comeback. Season's over, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Dennis screen this thing in. <laughs> so, all right, we got we got off on a little t- sports tangents there, but that's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So that that's the parlay thing. Um, real quick, um, college football. I don't know. Oh. Uh, What's his face got suspended for the rest of the year? Harbaugh. Well, for the regular season. Well, they're going to appeal it on Friday. He'll, he'll, he'll be back out. Boy, okay, so here's the crappy part I, that I think they, the Big Ten did. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to, I'm not a mm-hmm. Michigan fan, but here's, they announced this Thursday afternoon. When he's on the plane. <laughs> when he's on the plane, they can't do jack crap. Friday's a holiday. Courts are closed. <laughs> yep. So he at least sets out this weekend, and they'll probably get an injunction this week. But man, yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. And then, and then Michigan makes a off the cuff comment, which I don't believe it one bit. Too much money involved. Oh, we may go look for a different league. <laughs> well, I mean, unless you're oh, yeah. going to go to the SEC. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of the diehards talking that way. Yeah, they're not yeah. doing nothing. There's no, too much money involved. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, they would pay. You know, there's no freaking way. Yeah, and Harbaugh might be back to the NFL. Beside, but and I don't have a problem with what Harbaugh was doing. Yeah, I really, really don't. People just need to chill out, play football, and. He, he did what Belichick did. Well, I guess Belichick got suspended, didn't he? <laughs> he got fined pretty heavy. Okay. Well, just, you know, whatever. So, to the craft, if I'm not mistaken. Well, yeah. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Well, yeah. anyway, so uh, th- I didn't really watch any other football games. No college I, football? I know Dion lost again. No, okay. All right. And they may not make the bowl game. All right. And do, do you know uh, what's going on? I know FC won their matchup. So, do you do? They were 
So they be playing Philly, or do you know who they're going to play? They are going to play Philly, but it's the weirdest thing. There's a long layoff. Uh, they don't okay. play until uh, the Saturday after next, the okay. 25th. But it will be against Philadelphia? Yeah, and it's a okay. single elimination now. Right, okay. And it'll uh, be in Cincinnati. Oh, yes, all the way. Okay. So Philadelphia's not bad, but they're losing a couple of players. Okay. But we're losing a couple of players because d- dumbass freaking um, Matt Miaga or Miazza, he freaking... Oh, uh, yeah, that was yeah. you mentioned that before, yeah. So, anyway, so uh, I'll talk more about it on next week's episode. Right. So, Chase A.B. is Saturday after? Ne- the Saturday? 25th. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, all right. That's a long break. They haven't played that in a while. Um, so, anyway, so that's uh, FC College. Uh, oh, UC won their first game. Who cares? <laughs> um, and then that's all I got. <laughs> okay. I, I can't believe they Very won. Good. And, and I, I rather the other, other random thing I'll throw out there is the NBA is in the middle of this uh, oh, yeah. NBA Cup tournament it? a little bit. There are 10 games slated for um, – Wait, what's today? Today's Tuesday, right? So, my my, I took yesterday off, so I'm off. I'm off. Today's Tuesday, this evening. So that doesn't matter to anybody out there. And then, um, let's see. Uh, there's gonna be ten ten games on Thursday too, and I should have been. Or yeah, man, it's such a good bourbon. It is. You, but you said it counts towards the regular season. Part part of it does until they get into like this bracket. How is it's, it not uneven in it's games? Really, it's really weird. Because we get knocked yeah, out I, and you're I, play less I, games. Yeah, I still don't fully. I don't know if, if the games, I think the games leading to the seeding maybe count as regular season games. And then once you're seeded, maybe then they don't. But I don't. I, I don't still don't know it. positively. But um, but yeah, OKC is, is going to play the Spurs. I'm hoping that's, that's not tonight because then you don't Who? really care about that. Who? OKC, Oklahoma oh. City. Hmm. Play Spurs. Well, it's Wimbayama against um, who was the Chet? Wimbayama. Um, is it from the Lion King? <laughs> yes, you definitely don't know anything about the NBA, do you? No. <laughs> Victor Wimbayama. Never, never heard of him. Oh my gosh, you got to see this guy. He's unbelievable. He's from Europe or something. Um, where is Victor from? I don't. I'm not going to remember off the top of my head. Russia. No, but you have to you have to see him. He's he's something to watch. He's he's playing for the Spurs. I usually watch during the playoffs. Okay, I got like you. The finals. Gotcha. The only thing I honestly watch from the NBA is Chuck and or Charles Barkley Charles and Shaq and the, yeah, uh-huh. on their clips on TNT on YouTube. That's the only <laughs> thing I usually watch. So, anywho, but no, no, no. That's I was gonna I was gonna look, but I'm probably too late now. Anyway, okay, all, all right. right. So, uh, football. Yes, let's go because we so, already talked about the parlay that we won. Yep. Did you bet it, by the way? No, I never do. Shame on you. That's two two big wins you've missed out on in the last three weeks. Uh, yeah. Okay, picks from last week. And again, we didn't do too bad uh, collectively. Um, Steve uh, had a great week. He went 4-1 and one with 49ers, Browns, Bucks, and Raiders. Jeff went 4-1 and one with the Colts, Steelers, Browns, and Bucks. Jason also went 4-1. and One, one of these days, I'm going to be in the front of the line. But. <laughs> Colts, Bucks, Lions, and Raiders. Uh, I was 2-3 and three with Detroit and Vegas. If you went down from four and one to two and three, yeah, you should right. go in order, correct? Right, you're going in order. Holy Moses! <laughs> so, but Charlie, you were two and three too. You had the Steelers yeah. and the Raiders. But I don't do much. I got to go two and three, three and two. I'm just kind of there. Yeah, I'm the break evener. Um, actually, you're 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 getting caught up with them that last place. Um, <laughs> Keith Keith is one and four with the Lions. So Keith had a rough week. He's uh, not catching up with me. Who? What'd Keith, you say? Right? Keith. No, Keith's not the one. Steve's one that's behind you. Oh, what did he do? Oh, well, he went four and one. Oh crap! <laughs> Maybe he's catching up with me. We made I made that common remark to you yesterday because you were, yeah. So uh, standings, you are getting caught up with Jeff thirty nineteen and one, Keith twenty seven and three, Jason twenty five eighteen and two, Bob twenty five and twenty five, Charlie twenty two twenty seven and one, and uh, Steve is. Uh, only two percentage points behind you at 19, 26, and 5. So. All right. So, other news. We're talking about bowling. <laughs> Go right ahead. I know nothing about bowling. <laughs> All right. So, picks of the week. Or, or picks of the yeah. Week. Actually, we're going to highlight the games that are, are, are the parlay of the week. Um, first one is thanks to Keith. We got the Seahawks at the Rams. And it is a pick em game. So, what did he do? I go Seahawks. Uh, he, take, he took the Seahawks, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so did I. Yeah. And I think, I won't look back on everything, but I'm pretty sure there were a couple of us that were that were on the Seahawks for okay. that game as well. And then, um, 
Steve, this one's a tight one. Steve was taking Philly, and Philly is getting three at Kansas City. I take Philly. Okay. Is that what he did? He did, yeah. He's taking Philly. He's taking yeah. Philly plus the three points. Yep, I would take Philly too. So, and then uh, I intentionally try to keep you and I out of the conference picks because we do, we're so poorly at them. Yes, we are. Um, so, and the reason I didn't put Jeff in last week is he was late getting his picks to me. Um, but obviously it worked out fine. Um, and Jeff is in this week and he, he took um, Arizona at Houston and he's taken Houston minus four. So Houston's at home minus four. And uh, and you happen to be there with him. That's your confidence pick as well. It is. I, th- I think. And hopefully that doesn't jinx it. No, <laughs> I just think everything lines up right now. I think they're riding high off the Bengals game. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Arizona just got Kyler Murray back, and mm-hmm. he's trying to get. He's still in spring training, or not spring training. Good God, <laughs> preseason. Uh, so he's trying to figure out things. Um, that Houston office, good lord, they're awesome. Mm-hmm. They're like. Their scheme is good. It's what no, it is. exactly. Because I, I, I was. It's not the players. It's the I, scheme. I was texting. I was texting with the group that nor- normally when we watch the games, if we're not together, we'll text yeah. each other. And I, was, I said the OC is setting up plays. Correct. Yeah, because it's like he rolls out. It's just enough time for somebody Correct. to get open. And, and I would and, sit yeah. there and say, whoever the OC is, yeah, uh, he'll be a coach by yeah. then. <laughs> yeah. uh, for him to do what he's doing there. Yeah. And I'm not saying Stroud isn't a good quarterback. I think oh, he, he is. He is. He's yeah. a good quarterback for that system. Yeah. Um, but if you look what's around him, there's a lot of retread. And some rookies. I mean, good lord, you got Singletary, who had over a hundred yards. Yeah. I mean, I, I I contribute that to the scheme. That, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. I think, and it, I think Sam P. Ryan could have got a hundred yards. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying that yeah. you know, he's in the right. System. And what, what, what's interesting too, talking about the picks from this week, you know, so I, I don't know if all the guys did, but I think it was the guys that were four and one could have been five and one if the Bengals just won. Because I think, I think I'm pretty sure five and zero. I'm sorry, because they yeah they were on. I think I, several of us were on the Bengals, but it's funny now everybody's off of them. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I don't think anybody's uh, betting that game. That's how I'm in that Survivor League. Yeah, how you did mention that. So that's how there are weeks where like, like we're in that also that Pick'em League. Uh huh. And you know, whole text message could get your picks in. I forgot to get any of my picks in this week again. <laughs> it's like the third week I've done it. And yet somehow they don't have booed me out. But somehow I have survived in a Survivor's League. That's good. And so my buddy. Especially runs, how crappy you're playing yeah. fantasy. So my buddy uh, <laughs> texts me at 530. And mind you, all the afternoon games are done. And oh, yeah. the evening games have already started. Yeah. It's like, dude, get your pick in for the Survivor. Because I'm only. You've got the Sunday night game and the Monday night game. I'm only one game, of basically. seven yeah. teams left uh-huh. out of like, I don't know, 40. Uh-huh. And I somehow survived. So my choices were Denver, um, Vegas, and the Jets. And I took the Vegas. I took Vegas mm-hmm. over the Jets. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just got lucky. Mm-hmm. So Procrastinating is working out for you there. Yeah, because everybody <laughs> – I'm telling you, had I uh, picked early, mm-hmm. I'd have picked the Bengals. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and everybody else picked the beat. That was your confidence pick last week. Yeah, and it had knocked, <laughs> it had knocked me out. Yeah. Uh-huh. So procrastination does pay off, kids. <laughs> so I uh, I went ahead and put in my uh, pick for next week. All right. Um, I think I chose, um, I don't know, who are the biggest spread was. I still have them. Who was your confidence pick for this week? No, uh, or, on my Survivor thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, think okay. I, picked, I think I picked Dallas or something. Did you? Okay. Yeah. All right. But anyways, oh, you picked it early. Yeah. Might be bad. Why? Because you do better when you when you. you Why don't, but I forget to put it in. I know. I'm just joking with you. I'm just joking. So, with you. Anyways, all right. So that's that. <laughs> and I got a, and I got an extra thing to add. Jason should have been on because actually he's one of the best confidence pickers of the of the group. Um, and he got his in late. Um, and I'm and he and I are on the same one. So if you want a fourth leg in the uh, parlay of the week, if you want to add a leg, Bears at Lions, Lions to cover by ten. So Jason and I are both on the Lions to cover by ten. I wonder over if that's Bears. Justin Fields playing or not. I, he hasn't been, has right? No. He's, he's been out for a couple of weeks now. I say if he doesn't play that game, I can see that. I don't think in Detroit it's going to matter, even if he plays. They're don't. playing out Detroit, though, right? Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a mute point. Probably save but... that for a Thanksgiving game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the Lions always do play Thanksgiving, though, right? Right, and okay. usually they play the Bears. Okay. Or the Packers, or something weird like that. I think Washington and the Lions always play, right? No, I think it's. A... Or is it the Cowboys and the Lions? I don't know. Okay. I think it's Cowboys and Lions. Okay. So, I'm probably right. too by, too excited about the food. Food. Give it too much time. Thanksgiving. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I think we're good. I got nothing else. 
Um, nope, I don't have anything else either. Um, so tease a, a few things. Oh, thank you. Uh, so a few of you have listened to what we've been saying. Yeah, we got a few more weeks. people putting down what they would like for their bottles. So yeah, so in the no- November contest, there's only two more weeks mm-hmm. left of it. Yeah, uh, and then we're gonna draw names on our on right. our next show in right. December. Uh, any of these bottles behind us, uh, you can do that. Um, so yes, yeah, so do that. And we have and, something else to tease. Yes, we do. So in a few weeks, we are gearing up for end of the year award for our bourbon of the year of twenty twenty three. And we have six bourbons that are coming to play. We'll announce those later on down right. the road. Mm-hmm. A few of them that we've tried, a few of them that we have not, but these are all that we have received. In the year 2023, as right. far as as a release. Right, right, right. Um, and so. this is kind of a bourbon channel, SO, SOP, would you say? What's SOP? Standard operating procedure. Like, a lot of the channels do this kind of thing. I swear to God, I thought you were SOB. <laughs> no, SOP. This is Same. one SOB <laughs> bourbon channel. But, I mean, a lot of the channels do this kind of thing. End yeah, of the year, house right? cleaning yeah. stuff? Huh? The house cleaning stuff? The end of the year, like do you think have a oh yeah 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 so we'll uh yeah it'll be interesting to see where we fall in line uh, with everybody else um but yeah these are gonna be the bourbons that we have in our possession that's the that's the qualifier right right Mm -hmm. so we're not gonna do a bourbon of the year based on something that's out there that we do not have in our possession right so so right now we have six contenders and we're gonna we do kind of do those as a bracket and we can give you more information later but that's something to look forward to at the end of the year okay uh well I'm Charlie and I'm Bob all right we'll see you next time thanks everybody all right.